Hello and welcome to United Promotions series of learning to use the ROSE system. Today we're going to talk about learning to set up packages in ROSE. We would go first we would go to our start ordering screen. This is our sizes palette just like we've seen it before. The first thing we want to do with our with to set up packages is we want to create a tab that will allow us to put packages into it and we can name that tab by whatever the job is or whatever the the type of job it happens to be. In order to set up packages, we have to make sure that our packager is turned on. And when we look at rows and we see our set of controls down here, minimum more info. This turns the the uh, the out uh, the uh, layout right or left, and so forth. If the packager is turned on, you'll see some extra things in here, which right now we don't see. If we come over and click this little icon, it looks like a stack of papers. This is our packager turned on. We have a slider bar, which basically is like a zoom bar. We have span image, copy image, and individual. To build packages or, or basic packages, you want to make sure you have copy image. That should be selected. That should be the default also, so it should be selected for you. If it's not, you want to make sure you select that. All right, so then we're going to use our favorites button, which is down here. It's the black heart and says favorites next to it. This is the only button you want to use to go between screens. Don't use the buttons at the top always this button down here at the bottom and the only function of this button is to toggle back and forth between screens so if we click it we're now in our favorites page favorites is just a fancy way for them to set, to call them your your packages just like the old row system had had a package sets that's what your favorites are package sets so if we haven't built any packages yet then it's going to open and say favorites and next to it you have a little black plus sign the black plus sign is how you add new sets for your packages so if I click this I get a new tab that opens and I can name the group the group is where your packages are going to live so we can just call this set test one and then hit enter and we now have a tab that says test one so we want to go back to our products page we would come down here and click the favorites button again and it takes us back to the sizes palette or the page where all our products are so if I click on my first item it's going to open in the center just like it always does but now I want to add products to this I want more than one product in a package set so let's say I want to add two five by sevens if I just click on it it's going to open the two five by sevens and my eight by ten is gone so what I want to do is click on my first product find my second product and click and drag it into the center if you do it right, you now have two sheets here, one 8 by 10 and one sheet of two 5 by 7s Then I'll find another product, same thing, I'm going to click and drag at the same time into the center. Now I have the three sheets that I want in this package. I have eight wallets, I have two 5 by 7s and I have one 8 by 10 You notice when the cursor is in the center, that you also have some controls over these different products. Each product is going to have in the center or close to the center what looks like a big blue plus sign with four arrowheads on it. If I put the cursor on top of that, you notice it turns into the same thing. And then if I left click, I can drag these products so that they're not on top of each other. That way when I put the product or my, my images in here, I can see how they crop. Now let's say I had a bunch of items in here and I couldn't fit them all in because they're just too big or too many of them. I can take the cursor, put it on top of this, and if I drag this product about halfway off the screen and let go, it shrinks them. 
So that way I could fit more in there if I needed to. All right, so I have my products in here. You notice that also in each one of these products, you have a blue bubble that has a chain link contained in each one. As long as that remains blue and not grayed out, these products are all linked together. What that means is that if I drag an image into one, it's going to populate all of the products that are in this package at the same time. The other thing it does is it also links your cropping. So if I move the crop on this, you notice it moves it on all three at the same time. And it makes a proportional change so that obviously if your packages have different proportion products, for instance an 8x10 and a 5x7 are not the same proportions, it's going to approximate that set of proportions or that crop as closely as it can between products. The other control you have over these is you have a delete button in the bottom left hand corner of each product. If I put the cursor on top of this, not just one little finger, but actually cover that up with the hand and click, I get remove. Are you sure you want to remove this product? Yes, and I've taken my wallets out of this particular package. I could do the same thing with this. Once you get down to one product within this page, you cannot delete it by clicking the red. In that case, you would just choose another product and it would open and, and replace the one that's already there, but you cannot delete one product from a package. All right, so I'm going to drag my wallets back in. I have all my items that I want in this particular package. So I'm going to come down to my favorites button again. I'm going to find the tab that I want this package to reside on. In this case, it's test one. Then I'm going to come down and find the little green plus sign that's on top of the black heart. Click that and you see now it says name this favorite. Your package is called a favorite. So we click in here and type in the name of the package and then hit enter. Now we have a package on our tab and if you hover on top of that package it will tell you what's inside the package. Now let's say for instance I wanted to do options for my different items that are in my packages. Let's go back to our products page and we'll make another package. So we'll do an 8x10. And 8 wallets. So an 8x10 and 8 wallets for our package, but let's say I wanted to do some, some other things to this. Let's say I wanted to make them a sepia tone. I can come over here to my options, find image tone, click on it. And now you notice if you look at this, you have 8x10 options and wallet options. So if I want both of these items to be sepia tone, I have to tell it that on both items. So I go to my 8x10 first, sepia tone. Then I have to come down to my wallets and also select sepia tone. If you don't do that, you'll get an 8x10 that's sepia tone and your wallets are going to come back in color. So if I had 10, 10 items in here and I wanted sepia tone on all that, I would have to go through all 10 items and make sure that I check sepia tone. So once I have that set, I can come back go to my favorites button again which gets me to my packages or my favorites. Choose the correct tab. Click my little green plus sign again and name the favorite. And hit enter. And there's my second package. Now if I make a mistake and I need to delete a package, I can come down here 
to my little gear and that's just a little drop down arrow and you see you have uh, options to rename the favorite rename the group delete the favorite or delete the group so let's say this wasn't really package A let's say this was a different package I can click on it come down here and I want to rename the favorite gives me the option so let's say this was really package B I can resave it and it changes it to package B or maybe I didn't want sepia tone prints in this in this particular job at all I can come down and say okay I want to delete the favorite are you sure you want to remove yes and then come back to my tab and the sepia tone package is gone So let's try doing a few add-ons now. In this particular version of Rose, you can actually save add-ons as packages, which makes it a lot easier to find your items when you're building your job. You can put everything on this tab that you sold within that job, and you don't have to go back and forth between screens to find things like you used to. So if we come down to our Favorites button and click Favorites again, and let's say in this case we're going to go through do something from the novelty se selections. We go to our novelty. Uh, let's go to hard products. And then let's say we want to do a statuette. So we're going to click on statuettes. We'll find the size we want. We'll do an 8x10 acrylic statuette. We'll click on it. It opens in the center. And that's all we're going to have in this package, just one item. So then we come back to our favorites button. Make sure we click on the correct tab. Click on the little green plus sign again. And name this favorite. And hit enter. We're going to save this as a package. And there's my statuette package. Now with add-ons, you don't want to put add-ons with other things. You don't want to have 1 8x10, 2 5x7s, a sheet of wallets, and a set of trader cards. Um, it tends to not work as well that way as far as how the orders come off the machine and how easily they are to be packed. So you want to make add-ons a separate package by themselves. So you have a package for trader cards, a package for... Uh, mouse pads, a package for, for coffee mugs, co a package for dog tags, and so on and so forth. If you happen to use products, especially in our Sports Rose client, that have years, for instance, 2014, if you've built a package, and let's say you put a group mate in it that has 2014 as the year, our products automatically update every year. However, in the ROSE program if you put one of those items into a package it will not update. So if you have a group mate that says 2014 in it and next March is the next time you use that item, it's still going to say 2014 even though our products here have updated to 2015. So you have to do a little bit of maintenance to your package set or to your favorites. And if you have things that have dates or years in them, you need to go through and remove those packages and rebuild them again in the new year. So after January, or just after January 1st, you would want to go ahead and rebuild your packages so that you get 2015 on your new products. Or the first time you order, you'll get a whole ton of stuff back that says 2014 again. So after we get our package set complete, we have everything in this, in this tab that we're going to sell for this particular job. Before we start to order, we want to close the ROSE program and then reopen it and go ahead and start building. And what that does is it saves your package set to the actual program, writes it to what's called an XML file, 
and that way if you have some type of hiccup in rows your internet stops uh, the, the the computer using locks up what have you you won't lose your package set you may have to rebuild the job but you won't actually have to rebuild your package set so you always want to save the package set first by closing rows then reopening it then start building your job and you should not lose your packages unless you have something like a complete system w uh, failure where where you get the blue screen of death or something like that in Windows then you may lose your package set in that case alright well that concludes this particular version of the Rose tutorials uh, we will be having others thank you very much for your time